Do you want to go to space? Yeah! Why? It's cold and boring up there. Oh. But if you still want to go, maybe you can fly in the new Strato Launcher! Hey! But it's not built yet. Oh. That's right, you're looking at the next step in space travel. The idea is to make a giant twin-powered sailplane thing with a rocket guy in the middle. Then you fly that rocket guy thing up to an altitude of really high thousand feet and blast off. Hey! They copied that from Bert Rutan! Uh, actually your buddy Bert is part of this project. Oh, great! So it'll have those little round space windows? Uh, yeah. Can't see space without space windows. <laughs> the Strato Launch System is designed to be far more efficient than traditional NASA-style spaceship. Rather than building a skyscraper amount of rockets that you have to somehow take off from a dead stop and not stop and make you dead, you can just calmly fly halfway to space and then gently take off from there. Hey, alright! Bert Rutan proved this concept with his Spaceship One back in 2003. He was the first First guy to go to space since NASA started in the 1960s. Bird is also the last guy to to cut his sideburns since the 1960s. Now the new strato launcher system isn't going to be all easy sailing. Well, maybe maybe the sailing part's going to be easy, but not the runway part. You see, this thing is planned to be the largest aircraft in the world with a wingspan of 386 feet. And most runways aren't over 8,000 feet, and this thing needs a runway of 12,000 feet. Too many feet! But don't worry, there's some pretty big names funding this project. Paul G. Allen is a co-founder of Microsoft and is funding a lot of this. Oh, good! Some reports suggest that he's also writing the software for the system. Oh. Oh, nice. Yeah, they're calling it the Microsoft Bug. Pretty honest marketing there. Yeah, and Steve Ballmer has also volunteered to be one of the first test pilots. Ha, that guy. In fact, we have him on the other line right now. Other line? Steve, thanks for joining us. How does it feel to be a space pioneer? <laughs> I know, right? Do you think you'll encounter any aliens when you're up there? <laughs> Steve, can you give any advice to kids who want to be a tech company CEO, public speaker, astronaut, schizophrenic Clippers fan like yourself? <laughs> All right, thanks for your call. That was freaking weird. The someday to be new, but not right now. Gangly wings, smooth sailing, long takeoff taking, rocket blasting, Burt Rutan window, NASA mocking, strato launch system. Is it going to be the future of space travel? Or will diabolical Bill Gates just force another buyout and use this giant spacecraft to fly over Africa to drop unlimited malaria vaccines and save millions of people? Unicide!